Super Mario RPG has a ton of changes from the original. Some good, some bad, and some ugly. Here's what I noticed on my first playthrough, and if you saw a change I didn't notice, let me know in the comments. You now get experience from the initial battles in Bowser's Castle. These used to just be normal battles where you'd get nothing. Mario now has an auto-run function that you can toggle on and off in the menu. You previously had to hold down the Y button to run. Mario's house is now called Mario House. In the Super NES version, it was called Pipe House. The game now auto-saves every time you move to a new area, meaning it's much less painful to die. There are now only three save slots while the SNES version had four. Coins no longer cap at 999. Let me know in the comments if you found the cap. I bet it's now 9999, but I don't have the patience to find out myself. Items now stack and you can have as many different types of items as you want. In the old game, you could only hold a maximum of 29 items with the waste basket taking up the final slot. But now you can hold a ton of healing items, FP restorative items, and other items without worrying about your inventory limits. You can now press X in the map to immediately go into your item inventory. Type A slash B controls are a weird one. In the original game, you could press one of the four lettered buttons to access your commands in battle, and then you'd press it again to use the action. This is now called B type controls. A type controls, which are new to the game, are slightly different. You press one of the cardinal buttons to open up one of the menus, and then you press A to select your action. The character movement feels less fluid. Mario and other characters used to feel like they were just gliding, but now they have a much more realistic running motion. Voice acting during the pantomime is slightly different, but still remains pretty loyal to the original. I mean, the original had middies, but you know what I mean. The toad outfits are different. I can't explain it. They just hit slightly differently. The signal ring, which reveals the location of hidden treasure chests, is now available in the basement of a shop in the Mushroom Kingdom. It used to be available only after beating Valentina late in the game. Speaking of the signal ring, the toad who gives it to you now walks very fast, much faster than in the original. That allows you to more easily get a hidden chest that was super annoying to get in the original. There's now a goal flag above your next story destination. Kiro Kiro Cola is now Croca Cola. The level up screen is different. The characters now dance and look excited that their friends are gaining a level. You can press Y to use healing spells from the map, meaning you can get your healing done much more quickly. There's now an indicator above your head when it's time to block an attack. That indicator goes away as you do better at blocking particular attacks. And with regard to blocking, all single target attacks are now blockable. Indicators of how well you blocked are far more clear. You get a little shield if you do a perfect block. Completing an action command now gives you an increase in your gauge, which gives you a bonus based on which characters are in your party. There's now no trampoline at the end of Bandit's Way because you can now go to the map and the menu to fast travel to any location you've previously visited, which is awesome. Shysters are now called Shymores. Mallow's Psychopath has been changed to Thought Peak. This skill lets you see enemies' thoughts, elemental and status weaknesses, and their HP, whereas previously you could only see the thoughts and HP. And the order of Mallow learning his spells is different. He now learns Psychopath before HP reign. The game now tells you when an enemy is critically damaged by saying they're about to go down. The Shymores are now super fast, making them very hard to avoid. Mac the Knife is now named Clay Morton, and when he's stunned, there's an icon to show it. And when you hit him or any other enemy with their weakness, it now shows you a weakness indicator. Also, the Shysters guarding Clay Morton are now called Bodyguards. Clay Morton now falls off of his sword when he dies, showing that he is not a sword, but rather just a dude using a sword as a pogo stick. Mushroom Kingdom Night Mode was a thing I didn't notice until this. The game switches it to day mode once you defeat Clay Morton. Victory poses are slightly different now. There are no peace signs from Mario or Mallow. The Midas River Part 2 course is also slightly different. The fish seem to come out of nowhere, they come from behind you, and the patterns of the coins are also different, making this a little bit harder to get perfect scores on. If you fight an enemy enough times, a special variant appears. This is kind of similar to the Oversoul feature in Final Fantasy X-2. They're harder, but they give more rewards. Gaz pulls his own dolls back when he fights you with them, which is pretty cute. It looks much more more like he's pretending now rather than just slapping his dolls around. Many female toads now have braids, making them look much more like Toadette. Gino's shooting star now shoots balls, which is great because who doesn't love balls? Gino now falls over and doesn't disappear. In the original, he disappeared and you had to guess which way he was going unless you already knew the game well. There's now a save point before Bowyer. It used to be that you'd enter the area and immediately start the fight, but now you can save to your heart's content right before it. Bowyer's fight now has a scripted ending, a triple attack, and speed Speaking of triple attacks, these are new too. Each party configuration has one and they have unique effects. Let me know if you want a separate video talking about these. Krauko's harder to catch in the mines. After my first time hitting the trampoline, it seems like he just disappeared for a while. If you know why, let me know in the comments. Punchinello now introduces himself as Bomb Maker Extraordinaire. He also has an adorable face decal on his chest that wasn't very visible in the original. Splash damage now occurs if you do your action command correctly. And because of the splash damage, Punchinello is far easier.
easier because splash damage now hits his bombs. That makes them easier to take out expediently. In my first playthrough, not a single one had a chance to explode. This sign and booster pass alludes to the monster list agent. He's right in this little crevice here. He can help you fill out your bestiary for three frog coins per monster miss. Oh, also there's a bestiary. In the world map, there's no transition between each stage. You can move fluidly throughout the entire map. Booster's train just sounds different. Less like a train now, sadly. The masher drop animation used to make it look like Mario's head actually got hammered, but now it just looks like it fell on his head. The single ring now has a continuous icon that shows you that there's a hidden chest. Before, it just made a sound and then there was nothing there. Booster's beetle looks adorable. Booster's dolls look adorable, and it's very clear that they're Nintendo cameos. In the original, you set a file name at the beginning of the game. That name became the password for Booster's Tower, but now your Switch username is the password instead. Amulet is now called Booster's Charm. In case you're wondering, that halves all elemental damage. If you want me to make a video about the best equipment in this game, also let me know that in the comments. We're about halfway done, so do me a favor. Booster my channel by hitting this button to subscribe. do This little purple cloud means that your character is afraid. Resistance to status effects is now shown when an enemy is immune. Booster Hill now has red barrels, which take you farther when jumped on. And in fact, the movement in Booster Hill is now a lot faster with a lot more barrels. And the sniffets start very quickly, whereas you usually had to get the first few flowers from Booster's Peach using just barrels. It used to be you had to talk to an NPC to get Raz and Rainy kicked out of their wedding, but now it just happens automatically. The sniffets in the Peach's Possessions minigames are easier to get. Seems like they just sit there. But the timing is far worse. Any candles lit means you don't get a kiss from Peach. In the cake fight, the game now gives you directions. In the second phase, just use physical attacks. Also, the fight was a lot easier, as are many of the fights in this game. When someone dies, you can now just switch out the character on their next turn. Switching itself is also new in general, but this feature is kind of a cool adaptation of it. Star Hill is now 3D, including all of the wishes. The direction you have to face when rolling a barrel is now reversed. It used to be that you had to face away from the direction you wanted to roll it, but now you face the same way you want the barrel to roll. The squids Tantocles have an attack that takes away a character and then they come back and they have fear inflicted. This attack used to make your party member unavailable for a couple turns, but now it takes them away and brings them right back. Super jumps now have a counter so you know exactly how many you did, which might make getting the super suit easier. If you do 100 super jumps, you get the super suit. I still can't do it, but I plan to learn. When Yuridovich steals your star, it used to be that the star would just materialize out of nowhere. Now Gino calls the star back down from the sky. Shops now show you the stat changes of each armor or weapon you plan to purchase. Before, you'd need to buy them and then try them on. That meant that you would waste a lot of money, but this system is much better. When you go through this path at Land's End, you now take a big fall instead of having the screen go directly to black. There's a new flower tab at Land's End here that I don't remember being a thing. If you get an item in battle and you don't have room for it, it automatically goes to your item box. It used to be that you could literally lose a flower jar or box from a battle if you didn't have space, so this is a lovely change. Carney Kiss, one of the attacks from these ants, is now blockable. It used to be a run ender, but now it's just fine. I mentioned special enemies before, but I forgot to mention that if you beat them, you get a frog coin. This swamp in Monster Town stomps just a little bit slower, and you gotta talk to him 10 times to get the key to get all the treasure from below me, which is kind of annoying. Granny stops you right when you come down the stairwell instead of waiting for you to talk to her. This below me treasure guard is now golden. How pretty. The Scrooge ring is now the flower ring, and Shy Away is now called Bezo. You can now spin around vines in the beanstalk, allowing for much more forgiving positioning during this platforming section. The rare scarf found in the Bean Valley sky is now the defense scarf. In the same area, there are some new frog coins. It's now more obvious to me that the enemies are wearing costumes. What do they look like underneath, though? I have no clue. The name of Mario's golden disguise is now changed. It used to be the Plumber's Lament, but now it's In Search of Lost Brother. The Dodo minigame has some slightly different timing in the final strike. In the original, when Dodo tried to peck you, his helmet would cover his eyes, so it was much more believable that he couldn't see Mario jumping. It doesn't do that anymore, so the game makes a little bit less sense story-wise in that particular section. At the site of this hidden treasure chest, there's now a brick missing to show you there's a secret pathway there. In the fight with Kathy, you used to have to defend against the single eggs to bounce them back, but now you can just action command block the eggs instead of defending. That makes this fight a lot easier. The safety ring is now slightly less broken. It still prevents all status effects and instant death spells, but it used to also eliminate all elemental damage. Now it just reduces it a ton. It's still broken, just not quite 
fight as much. After the Zarjagan is defeated, in the original game, he goes into the lava and comes right back up. But now, the party does a victory pose thinking they've won. And then they realize they have to have another fight with Zombone. Also, we no longer get to see Zombone's huge bone because he has clothes now. The Axum Rangers now walk instead of just sliding. And the Axum Ranger teleportation animation is now more refined. Each one has their own animation. In the Axum Ranger fight, Black is now much easier since all of his attacks are blockable. But Axum Yellow now has a terrifying tackle attack that hits super hard and fast. Magic Koopa is now Wizakoopa. Wizakoopa's magic words are changed. In the Wizakoopa battle, if he summoned a bomb and it blew up, he would freeze and he would be a sitting duck for the rest of the battle. But now that's fixed. The Heal Shell is now the Heal Shell. Corona is now Flare. Mega Drain is now Fire Saber. And Smithy now bangs his own head to transform instead of just banging around randomly. His instant death attacks are now blockable. If you noticed any other changes, let me know in the comments, and I suggest you watch my tier list of all the characters in the game next. Don't buy a boat and goodbye.